If you've been watching my race crews videos, you already know I have a lot of cars. A lot of cars. I got a whole warehouse. But, you know, I still go to collector shows from time to time. Go to swap meets. Uh, not so much. The Hot Wheels, the 2016 Hot Wheels convention was early October 2016. Go to go room to room and people are selling and trading. You know, and I'm looking for stuff that either I do not have or... Maybe I had it and I opened it up, so now I need a package version, or I want a package version, maybe to present in a video, or maybe I just want it for myself. But to be honest, most of the stuff that I purchase nowadays is because I would like to make some type of fun video with it. Now this, uh, these Disney Toy Story line, Disney Toy Story lines from Hot Wheels, they had a bunch of cars. Uh, they, were not, they were not cheap in the stores. If you remember the price, let me know. But uh, I have a lot of them. Some of them were released towards the end and hard to find, like this guy right here. Uh, I don't even know if I got him. I got him. Uh, is that him? Yeah, Bucket of Speed. Got him. But, you know, people have uh, people be getting rid of the collections and letting stuff go. And so that's what I'm looking for. A lot of this stuff that I got right here are like 2 for $5, 3 for $5. Even this, they had $5 on it. But I'm pretty sure I picked this up in a uh, 2 for $5 room. And there's the exclusively decorated models. I'm pretty sure all three of these were exclusive to this set. I don't remember if I've reviewed this video. I mean, I don't know if I've made a video reviewing this item before. If I have, I'll put a link down in the description. I'm doing the uh, track time. And I'm looking for different models, right? Different colors of different models. Here you have RD03. He's a racing drone. And here is a uh, color shifters release. This, this was cool packaging when they had this back in 20, 2008. And you could, they had this little thing here. So it show you how you can make the color change. It goes from uh, a greenish color to that color. Sometimes they have uh, three colors. This is two colors. But uh, those are the two different decorations. See, since I see the camo pattern, that's probably that. And I guess when it's gone, when it gets warm, it's probably cold here at the shop. And I'll bet you when it warms up, it looks like that. But once again, I don't know, two for the two, four, five dollars, three for five dollars. I'm not sure. Uh, I know I gave one to my daughter for Fantastique. It's her favorite casting. Plus, it's this nice green color. I know I have one, too, but uh, I want to open one up. So I picked this one up. It's got plastic tires, so I can use it in a future uh, video. Now look at this one. Here you have a rare variation. This was the this is the Wastelanders Mustang Mach 1. And this was a rare variation. It has a white interior. And yeah, they let it go. It was part of the I know this one for sure was two for five dollars. And look at the old price. Yeah, these things were selling for 20 bucks each. And now look, they just let it go two for five dollars. Maybe it's still going for uh more than two dollars and fifty cents. And I maybe I paid what it's going for, or maybe it's higher. I don't know. As a matter, matter of fact, I did a video on this where I got a lot of these. I got a lot of these off of clip strips that were intended for the uh, retailers, for the grocery stores. Uh, I'll put that link down in the description below. Here you have Power Rangers Mega Force. This was a product line, like the character cars. And here you have Vrak. I don't remember. I probably have this because it looks like it could work on the track. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had that. But for the price, I figured, you know, I'll go ahead and get it. Look, 2012. So that's been gone for a while. This Superman, Hero Cycles. I don't remember if I had this one. Some of them were hard to find. Another good thing is that, you know, with the uh, conventions, is that people come from uh, other countries, you know, and they come from other parts of the, of even the USA. And there's cars that sometimes you can't get in your area, and then they wind up being abundant in, abundant in other areas. So I figure, you know, sometimes uh, you've never seen it, and now they show up here. People, people have asked me, hey, do you have any rumblers? I did not buy rumblers because of the price. They were expensive, and they were a little bit bigger than regular Hot Wheels. Do I have a Hot Wheel? Here I have a regular Hot Wheel. They were a little bit bigger than regular Hot Wheels. They did have track sets. Now, it looks like it, looks like it actually might fit on a regular track. I'm not sure. But I'm keeping this. Does it work? I didn't test any of them to see if they work. There's a look at the package. And if I pick up a track set now, because I got a nice price on all of these cars, 
Now I'll have to look to uh, get a track set and make a uh, Rumblers video. So let me just show you the different models. These again, two for $5. I'll just go through these uh, quickly. If you missed the names, the names were right there, right? It looks like uh, I see, keep seeing a different one there. No batteries. I wonder if the battery, oh, it's got a switch right there. I wonder if you could turn the switch on right here. Hold on. Hey. I don't know. I don't know if the, oh, look, fantastic. The batteries are replaceable. So when I do make a Rumblers video, I'll be able to get new batteries in there. High st Night Storm. I thought I said High Storm because I thought I'd had that high one. This almost looks like it could be a regular Hot Wheels. Which one do you think that would be if it was a, a regular Hot Wheel? And look, they had, they had a lot of them. They had a lot of these things. They let them go, two for five bucks. And this is what I'm talking about. This Connect Cars, in the USA we had like Connect Cars, but they were, they were uh, the states. They were like uh, 50 states. And I think there might have been bonus ones that you can mail in for. But up in Canada, so since Mattel already made these plastic cubes, these cubes connect. You can see the uh, Lego block type uh, connectors right there. And then you would just pop them together. You can stack them. Did they show it? I missed it. So see, look, you can make little display cases. So Canada got these with, the, they still got the cubes, but they didn't get states. They got uh, exclusive cars to the region. And if I'm doing track time, wouldn't it be cool to see that version of Battle Spec? There's the name too, as a matter of fact. Battle Spec. Yeah, he was an accelerator. Wouldn't it be cool to see this version in one of my uh, track time channel presentations? Now, here we have uh, Medieval. That's, uh, his name might have been changed. Uh, it seems to me like he has got a new name. Uh, is that the old name or the new name? I'm pretty sure that's the old name. Let's see what else do we have here. Vulture. He's a great track car. Oh, is that a Circle Flame logo on top? What is that? Kind of looks <laughs> similar, but no, there's no treasure hunts in this line that, that I, I don't remember people saying. That's just the team. There you go. Got to answer them right away. Uh, five different teams. Oh, that, that Dragon Flame logo. That's pretty cool. That's the ones with the uh, green. I, uh, I don't know if I got any with that. So there you have flame. Here you have like a shield. Here you have a star. I wonder, that would be cool if I got one of each. But I picked them up because two for five dollars. And they were not sold in the United States. So basically you had to, there, look, there they go again. Basically you had to near, live near the bold border in Canada, you know, to cross over and go pick them up over there or have someone hook you up and these are copyright 2008 right there so it's nice that people come from other countries or other parts of our country a matter of fact there you go connect cars here you go there's a uh, Alabama this is what we got in the USA collect all 50 states and then when you did collect so many if you you were able to mail in I think for different regions so uh, and See this card? See the package right there? This piece? When you flip around that Alabama sign, uh, there's all the pieces. And so you could display them, uh, display the American flag when you flip around the state card inside. Now, you know, recently, uh, 20, yeah, early 2016, they had, Hot Wheels had a release where, uh, where you can make an American flag. It was a uh, eight or 10 car set sold at the, in the USA, it was sold at Walmart. Here's Blastus. Now Blastus is a motorcycle and it's also a, they use that name for a motorcycle with a rider. I could, if I remember, I'll put a link to that. And it, here is Blastus the Hot Wheel. Pretty nice color. Is that, that's it for that bag. And let's wrap it up with the last bag here. Again, these were same thing, two for five dollars. And I already, got, I already got these, but what the heck, get an extra. At that price, right? Pretty good price. Toy Story. I definitely have Buzz Lightyear already. They call him Blast and Buzz. And see, this is a, he was an earlier release because you can't see the other ones. Let me see, what's that package? So he was an earlier release. And then later on, you can see they have added cars. So he's not there. He's not there. He's not on that package. Rex Raider. He's there. 
lots of speed. He's there. I know I got the truck for sure. I know I got lots of speed because I got him right here. I don't remember if I got Rex Raider though. I hope so. Ham on wheels. I have him. Let's see. Who else do I have? Mm, Wheel and Woody. I already had Wheel and Woody. That's, if you like Bone Shaker, maybe you want to look for this to add to your Bone Shaker type collection. And who's this guy? Lots of speed. You can see him right there. Uh, I'm doing some sorting, so I just happen to have those. I just happen to be going through those. Who's this now? Oh, there's that car that I was talking about. I call him Rocky Road. Uh, what kind of car do you think he really looks like? I don't remember him in the cartoon, though. It's been quite some time. These are copyright 2010. Uh, that's pretty bad. I can't remember five years. I did speed racer videos, and I noticed that I don't have that many of Musha Motors. This was a hard-to-get car at, towards the end of the line. Uh, as a matter of fact, lots of stores didn't even get them because the line was clearanced through like uh, 99 cents only. So uh, I had a hard time getting this one, even though I was going to 99 cents only stores. So I'm glad to get an extra one of these for my track time channel. Kermit the Frog looks pretty cool. Look, it's like a little frog. Looks like he would be uh, floating on the water. He almost looks like a boat, huh? The Muppets. I don't remember. I don't remember if I bought these. Really, it seems familiar, but this looks like a character car. Oh, this was an excellent find right here. Here's Disney Racers, and these I'll be using for a downhill racing. I have a lot of Disney Racers, and they had more Disney Racers too. This pack apparently was only in, a, in some store. What, what did it say? Oh, I think it was a Disneyland, Disney Resort, Walt Disney World exclusive. Get in the fast lane. Characters, click them all. I thought it said something to where it was a. Uh, oh, this is what's exclusive. Davy Jones and Blackbeard Racers, exclusive to this set. And I'm not sure which two there. Okay, here we have Jack Sparrow, Blackbeard. Oh, here we go. Davy Jones and. Skeleton Helmsman, no, Davy Jones and Blackbeard. So this one and this one are exclusive to the set. Uh, this one was not two for five dollars. Mm. I don't remember if it was five dollars or eight dollars. But even I'm pretty sure it was eight dollars because I was thinking two bucks a car. I'll take them because uh, they'll look great when I make a downhill racing video with the rest of these. I already got this. I already got this, but. You know, for the price that they had, I'll take them. And Defiance, uh, I forgot the name, but uh, Target, or this year, 2015, Hasbro had a line of car trucks that were kind of like this. And I, when the Defiance line went on clearance, I bought some of the track sets because I was going to use the, uh, the, the you can't call them track sets, but they had road pieces. And uh I bought them for my parties because I, I thought I might use the road pieces for my parties. But then I started doing YouTube, and so I didn't wind up using those road pieces for the party. Here's another truck. So I have, I have no experience with these, but I do still have those parts or those sets that I, track sets that I bought, road sets. And so if I do a review, now I have uh, one, two, three. I have at least three, and I don't. I don't really. I remember buying the sets, but not the cars. So I'm glad to get the uh, s the cars, the trucks to go with the sets. Here's another uh, Power Rangers Mega Force. I was pretty sure I got had this one already, but what the heck? It was a good price, 2012. These are long gone from stores. And look at him. He looks like he'll work in the boosters, doesn't he? Got flat sides. Looks like he might work through a loop. Yeah, I think I'll be using him on my track time channel at as well and last but not least uh, here's another Disney racers these were sold at uh, Disneyland Captain Gantu 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 what's uh, what show he looks like he'd be from Leo and Stitch I think just by looking at him I don't recognize what movie he comes from anyways there's some more of my uh, convention pickups. This is just my auction bidder card. There's some of the auctions that they had, uh, charity auction. I didn't pick anything up this year, but uh, I was looking for bargains. Ha uh, happy collecting. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.